there. For those of you that don't know me, I just wanted to take a minute and share kind of my story with all of you. So my name is Courtney and I was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy when I was 23 years old. Now I grew up with this muscle disease my entire life and I walked on my toes and everything and had lots of symptoms and I've always been able to walk. But my muscles were always weak and I had no idea why. My mom took me to different doctors when I was younger and all of them said, oh, she'll grow out of it. She'll be fine. There's nothing wrong. Well, it turns out there was something wrong, but you know what? That's okay. I got to live a normal life. Anyway, so I grew up, I did a ton of sports. I was pretty athletic. I played soccer, I played softball, I played basketball, and I did martial arts. I even did gymnastics for a little bit. And surprisingly, through it all, I never got hurt, really, to speak of, other than maybe a rolled ankle. Before I was diagnosed, I knew that my legs were weak, and I didn't understand why. So I was going to the gym all the time in my early teens, like ever since I graduated high school, and working out, trying to work on my legs, and I was never getting stronger, and I wanted to know why. So I went to my doctor's office and I asked them, like, I don't understand why my legs are so weak. I'm working out all the time, but they're not getting stronger. And if I have kids, will they be affected? Well, that is how I got started with the whole diagnosis process, which is a little bit longer to share right now. But when I started working with a physical therapist, I did the exercises and I did the things that they tried to tell me to do to get somewhere. And with SMA, there's no getting stronger. There were no treatments available at the time. It was only you have what you have and be thankful if you don't lose anything. So when I started working with this physical therapist, I was motivated at first. And then they told me that I must not be doing the exercises because I wasn't getting any stronger. And if I wasn't getting any stronger, there wasn't anything they could do to help me. I was so devastated. I was so unmotivated. I had been working out and nothing was happening. And even though I was doing these things, they were saying based on this that I wasn't doing it, even though I was. And that hurt. That's when I realized that the professionals, they really don't know what they're talking about most of the time. I felt like a physical therapist should know more about muscle disease than that person did. Anyway, going forward, I went to another physical therapist and at this time I was still at the gym and I was doing kickboxing once a week and swimming once a week and I did feel sore after and I had just quit for a couple weeks because of like my shoulder was hurting or you know something ordinary that anyone would stop for a little bit. And when I switched physical therapists and asked them about going to kickboxing, they told me it was not a good idea because I have SMA. And you know what? I listened. I don't know why I did, but now I, I regret that I listened to them. Also, when I was diagnosed, I was told I would no longer be able to walk by the time I was 30 years old. Imagine being 23 and hearing the words that you're going to be in a wheelchair by the time you're 30. That's hard for anyone to take in, especially a 23 year old who has so much life to live and so much that you haven't done yet. Not being aware of this other world. Well, I decided I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure I'm still able to walk by the time I'm 30 years old. And I just felt like there was a huge lack of understanding amongst the medical professionals. So this is why I decided to start doing this YouTube series. I've always been interested in fitness from the time that I was younger to now. I've been, I did martial arts my entire life and I always had an interest in just the whole fitness world and everything that goes with it. But when I was diagnosed, I felt like I was being told to give that up. So I wanted to start out if there's any medical professionals that can benefit from a patient's perspective then that's a huge win to help anyone else maybe going through the same thing. And now that brings me to the biggest reason I started doing this is because I feel like there are other people out there that are like me 
and that do have limitations and things that get in the way and maybe the whole world is against you and telling you you shouldn't do this thing because of this or because of that but you know if you're careful you can do it and you can find a way that works for you. I think that exercise is possible for anyone doesn't matter how small of an exercise it is, but it is possible. You just have to find a way to adapt it to you, which is where I come in. I want to help everyone find a way to adapt exercise to fit something that you can do to make you feel motivated to exercise and not be like, oh, this is something I have to do because I was told to do it again. But just to help you out, anyone that's interested in exercise, you should be told that you're not able to exercise. You shouldn't get conflicting information, but you do. And there's not a whole lot of resources for fitness with muscle disease. I've looked and everything's physical therapy, physical therapy, exercise for seniors. And I'm 29 and I don't feel like I fit into a seniors class. And if I go to some random seniors fitness class, they're going to be like, oh, you can't be here. You're way too young for that. And I have experienced that too, as a matter of fact. I've gone to, it wasn't a class specifically for seniors, but it was water aerobics. And the ladies in there were super nice, but at the same time, they were older and they were like, oh, you're so young, you should be able to do this. And things like that. But age doesn't matter if you have a limitation. But what I was saying, I think that exercise is possible for anyone. You just have to be creative and you have to know where to start to be able to adapt the exercises to fit your needs. So I also have a love for swimming. I mentioned a love for fitness and I just, I really wanted to create awareness around this whole lack of exercise for people with muscle disease because I feel like it can be super beneficial to someone that is trying not to lose progression making their disease progress as little as possible in the time they have, or for people with SMA specifically, where there are treatments available now to learn how to adapt. So maybe, maybe one day you can actually get stronger. And I wanted to create a better understanding for the professional world that half the time does not seem to have a clue. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't good doctors and good physical therapists. I managed to find them, but there are ones that really are so out of the loop that I think it'll just be beneficial for everyone. So please join me as I share my experience and how I adapt exercises to fit my needs to help you. And if there's anything that you'd like help learning how to adapt to you, please let me know. I will do my best to find a way to make it work for you. And my goal is to teach you how to learn to adapt exercises to fit your needs yourself. So one of my favorite tools in doing this is a fitness ball, <laughs> but that's all I want to share with you for right now. So thank you for joining me. And if this is a fit for you, please come and join me on this journey. We'll have lots of fun together.